In this video, we'll discuss everything you need to know about taking attendance in Teacher Access Center. First and foremost, on the home screen in the My Classes panel, you'll find two icons related to attendance. The chair icon will bring you into the more detailed attendance screen that we'll discuss in a moment. The other icon, however, is quite a handy feature. When you know for sure that all of your students are present and there are no tardies to assign, you can easily mark all students present by clicking here. A check mark will appear to show that attendance has been submitted. The official attendance time is very important. Check with the attendance specialist at your campus for what the official attendance time is. In elementary school, you must take attendance once a day at the official attendance time. In secondary, you will take attendance every period, and during the official attendance time period, you must take attendance at the correct time. Email your campus attendance specialist to make corrections to attendance that has already been submitted. Please be sure to be specific about what errors were made. The attendance drop-down menu has three different options. The first, Bulletin, will display a list of absences for your students on a given date, along with any documentation that has been provided. This is useful if you need to double-check that a student was gone during an assignment, or something to that effect. To generate a report, select the date you want to know about along with your campus. Then, set filters to find either all of your students or just students in a particular class. The second and most commonly used option in the attendance menu is the list function. This will bring up a list of students in the current period and allows you to manually enter attendance information. You'll probably be using this every class period. Next to each child's name, you'll find various medical and academic alerts, as well as their grade level. Then, you'll find three checkboxes labeled A, T, and P. If a student is absent or tardy, check the appropriate box. The P box, for present, does not need to be checked unless you have accidentally saved a student as absent and need to change it to present. In this case, uncheck the A box, select the P box, and click Save again. Make sure that if you have multiple courses sharing a period, which is most often the case with co-teach classes, that you have the mixed view selected rather than the single course view here. If you need to change periods, click the Change button and find the appropriate course. Finally, make sure you always click Save to apply any changes. That's all for attendance. Please keep in mind your official campus attendance time and be sure to take attendance for that class period within the range given by your campus attendance specialist. If you need further assistance, see that specialist or the TAC manual. Thank you.